Hi guys, this is Online School of Creativity and in this video, I'm going to take you to how you add oil painting to a photo without using the filter gallery. In other words, a cartoonish effect. So please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell so that you get notified each time we upload new tutorials. Don't also forget to comment, share and like. Thank you. So please, what I'll use first is that I'll open my project or the picture I want to use for the project. So I'll go to file and open. And I want to use this picture, so I'll click on it. I'll double click on it so that it will open. I'll click on this small icon to unlock the layer. Then the first thing I'll do is that I'll check the size of the image. So I'll go to image and image size. Please, your width should not be less than 2000 pixels. And your height too should not also be less than 1500 pixels. Then I'll press OK. I'll press Ctrl plus plus to zoom in or Command plus plus on Mac. Then I'll press Ctrl plus J to duplicate the layer. So I'll hide this so that I'll use as reference. Please, those that they don't understand all this. If you want to know the basis of Adobe Photoshop, check in the description. We have a beginner's guide. It explains everything that you need to know as a beginner or how to get started in Photoshop. Thank you. So with this layer selected, I'll go to image, then I'll go to adjustment, and I'll go to shadows and highlights. I'll increase the amount under shadows to 35, and I'll press OK. I just want to brighten the image. I also go to image again, adjustment and levels. Then I'll add a bit of contrast and brightness to the image. Okay, so from there I'll duplicate the layer again by pressing Ctrl plus J. Then on the duplicate layer, I'll go to filter, adder, and then high pass. I'll set the radius to two and I'll press OK. I'll change the blend mode to overlay. This adds sharpening and also more details to the image. I'll press shift on my keyboard and select both layers, right click and merge them together. From there, I'll go to filter again, then I'll go to sharpen, then I'll go to unsharpen marks. Then I'll change the amount to 130, reduce to 2 and threshold to, then I'll press OK. So I'll also go to filter again, then under filter, I'll go to stylize, or, then I'll click on diffuse. If your mode is at normal, please change it to anisotropic and press OK. I'll press Ctrl plus plus to zoom in. I will rotate this several times to make it professional. I'll, I'll, I'll click on this. You can see that I have this because I didn't rotate it. That's why I have these lines. So I'm going to rotate it several times, about four times to make. So when I rotate, then I'll add a diffuse about four times. So I'll go to image, then image rotation 90 clockwise. Then I'll go to filter, then I'll go to diffuse to add the diffuse again. Then I'll go to image, image rotation, 90 clockwise. Then I'll go to filter, then diffuse. I'll go to image again, image rotation, 90 clockwise, filter, then I'll add diffuse again. Then I'll go to image, image rotation, 90 clockwise. Then I'll go to filter, then I'll add diffuse again. So this is quite good than this one. You can see the face. Can see this one have a smooth face as compared to the one I didn't rotate it. Okay, so from there with this selected layer, I'll go to the filter panel, then I'll go to noise, then I'll go to reduce noise. So under reduce noise, I'll make sure that it's under basic, then the strength at 10 and the the, the other ones. I will make it zero, then I'll press on OK. Beautiful. So from there, I'll also go to sharpen again by going to filter, sharpen, then I'll go to 
on sharpen marks then i'll press ok so what i will do is that i will duplicate the layer again then i'll go to filter then i'll go to other then high pass again then the radius at two then i'll press ok i'll go to overlay you can change you can go through the several blending mode option to see if some of them will be best for you this one is nice but i'm going to use overlay then what i'll do is that i will merge these layers together by pressing shift right clicking and i'll merge it together then i'll duplicate this layer by pressing ctrl g then i'll go to image auto tune to add this beautiful auto tune to the design or the project i'm doing then what i will do next is that i'll try to reduce the opacity or maybe you can keep it at 100 or you can also reduce it so i will shift and merge them together again then i'll duplicate the layer then i'll go to filter then i'll go to blur then i'll go to surface blur so under surface blur i'll add radius to be 20 threshold to be 15 then i'll press ok and last but not the least i'll go to this i'll press this small icon then i'll go to vibrant and i will increase the vibrance to about 90 then i will also increase the color you can add the amount of color you want then i'll close this so this is i will hold i'll press the shift key on my keyboard to select all and merge them together and this so this is before and this is after before and after you can do it again and again follow the procedure and you can add the effects again so that you can get more cartoonish effects or the oil paint effect more than this so you can repeat it again the same procedure the image link is in the description to download it for free you can also visit puzzle.com to download such images and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel hit the notification bell so that you get notified each time we upload new tutorials and please check our previous videos all of them the link is in the description there are beginners guide and tips and tricks of photoshop thank you for watching the video and bye bye